everybody, this is Mason Wasatch Pop. Guys, today we are here at Fan X. Thank you so much, Fan X, for hooking me up with some press passes and everything like that to cover this event. So, overall, guys, today you guys have seen probably some Fan X videos in the past. There's all sorts of vendors, all sorts of Funko Pops, all sorts of just really cool pop culture, nerdy, nostalgic things that we're gonna check out today. But I did want to mention that today's video is sponsored by Whatnot. And if you guys didn't know, I do a lot of auctions over on Whatnot Funko Pop Auctions, but let me tell you the overall goals for today and how Whatnot is included in this. So thing number one, I have an auction coming up very soon and today we are after some pops to correlate with that auction. So Whatnot is sponsoring the video today and we are going after some pops that we can give away in my upcoming anime auction. So we're gonna be looking for some anime pops. So the overall goal is to find some stuff for the auction and some things to give away. And then thing number two is just finding things that I am looking for in my collection and just showing off some really cool pops. So, without any further ado, guys, let's get into it and uh, yeah, let's enjoy Fanex. Here we go. Okay, folks, we made our way to the convention floor and I'm not quite sure where everything is set up. I know that they have Artist Alley and they have vendors. So, I think what we'll probably do is kind of start off over here, walk down each of the aisles and see if we can find any familiar faces or any cool Funko Pop booths. So, I guess I didn't even know, but I guess I started out in Artist Alley. And I don't think we're gonna find many Funko Pops in here, but definitely lots of really cool art pieces here. Maybe I'll walk around and see if I can find anything that you guys might find interesting or things that I like. One thing that I wanna show off real quick to you guys is this bender, I don't even know what it is, kinda like a lithogram, kinda cool like painting or whatever. I love Futurama, so it is cool to see this one here. Bender, 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 bender. All right, here we go, folks. I found a little booth that has some pops. Let's check them out. All right, guys, coming in here, they have some good anime pops. They also have some cartoons, too, that we can show off. Prices are kind of all over the place. You can see some of these Simpsons at, like, $40 a piece, which seems a little off. Like, Michael Emerson for $115. It's a little crazy, but we'll look around, see if maybe we can find a good deal on anything, but... Those are just a couple of things to highlight real quick. You know, one set that I've been thinking about piecing together is the Jetson set, but I don't know if that's worth $30. I'll have to double check and see what the price is on that. But that is definitely one that I've been trying to kind of piece together ever since I got some of those NFTs. Ran into another booth that has pops. I think if I remember this from last time that they are very expensive and overpriced, but if we get a second, maybe we'll sneak in and see if we can find some cool stuff. A few moments later. I don't know if I'll be able to show off really much more. It is very crowded in there but check out some of the pricing that they have on here guys like $35 for Aaron Jaeger which is just uh you know a pop that just came out which is kind of crazy honestly Deku's like $35 this one is $55 <laughs> like it gives you a good idea guys of all the stuff that's in there that's uh more I don't know a little bit overpriced but I don't know if it's even worth it to really go in there and show off anything more but some of these prices are pretty crazy but I spy some of my friends over there you know who we're gonna highlight here, guys. We got Pop City over there. Let's go check them out. All right, looks like they're running a special, guys. So we have any three Blue Dot Pops for $30 plus tax, which I think that's usually what they do at their store. So maybe we'll have to find a couple of anime stuff or anything that I'm looking for specifically to kind of round out the auction coming up. I wanted to show off a couple of things right here. I believe that these are Costco exclusives they just barely have gotten those in so the princesses and pokemon kind of cool to see that they've made it way over to fanex you've also got some newer stuff like the elvira black light entertainment earth exclusive which is pretty cool you know i got to show off my simpsons grandpa simpson which is pretty awesome as well but kind of panning through everything guys they got a good mix of stuff we'll definitely make our way in and kind of check out some of these more high-end pops folks here are a couple pops that you don't see every day you got tupac right there catwoman bebop you have the sdcc exclusive exclusive v for vendetta oh my goodness guys lots of great stuff that deadpool is really cool mike wazowski Whew. lots of good stuff so far okay check out this cabinet guys we got loki you got bilbo baggins the metallic genie which is really cool we also got spider-man mumra from thundercats raven a couple of sign pops down there herschel that's awesome cad bane prince john just take a look at all this stuff, guys. You got the you got Ace Ventura, Jack Skellington, Freddy Funko, is Doctor Strange. Woo! Ooh, and a signed fry too. That's awesome. I, I believe that's probably by Billy West, I would I would assume. Okay, and then if we're looking down here, guys, you have another NFT pop. You got Klingon, a Tony the Tiger Proto. 
which I think I've seen a couple of times in the shop, but you got Elvira right there, Jar Jar Binks, Elvis, Barbosa Monkey, and one that eventually I'll add to my collection, the alternate universe Fry and Leela. That's awesome. All right, so here's a couple of good ones that you found for me. So what do we got here? We have a Twice Chase and also Naruto signed as well. Was that signed here at uh, the convention? Signed here, but Not it signed, signed here. Not signed here. By his uh, English voice actor. Okay, right on. Those might be some good ones for the giveaway. All right, folks. So I'm gonna buy those two for the auction. Can't decide if we're gonna give them away or auction them off, but those are cool. Folks, I am feeling pretty solid about my purchases, and as I'm feeling pretty good about my purchases, guys, check out what we got here. We got pops. And we got more pops. Let's go. All right, folks, coming in on this booth right here, they have the Glow in the Dark Entertainment Earth exclusive Goofy, which that is a really cool one. I kind of want to buy that for myself. I'm not sure how much they're charging for it here today, but that is definitely one that I haven't seen and one that I'm kind of excited about. You know, one set of pops that I didn't even think of for the upcoming auction that would be fun would be some Pokemon pops. So maybe... We'll have to see if we can pick some up. I think maybe like a Charizard and a Charmander combo might be some fun ones to give away. I think that's a good idea. You know, one pop that I'm wondering if is the restock, guys, is this guy right here, Ghost Cloud. I know some of those went up recently with the NFTs that came out a little bit ago for the Scooby-Doo line. So it's kind of interesting to see it today. I wonder how much they're charging for. All right, they got some more anime back here. Looks like everything on this rack is $25. You got some that are 30 over here. If you guys want to check that out and check out some of those signed pops back there wonder how much some of those are maybe that would make a good giveaway pop for sure but overall this has been a pretty decent booth i ended up walking away with a pop just for myself but right across the way there is another booth let's see if we can find some cool stuff in here right on the bat in the front of this booth i see a couple of really cool pops like the spider-man chase is really fun one that you i don't think i've ever seen in person i saw it announced on instagram a while ago but definitely a really solid one and they also have some good um, anime ones mixed in here, like this Trafalgar Lar and also the Kamugi Chase. So maybe we'll have to pick up one of those for the auction. Some new pops that I found, guys, that I think you guys would find interesting. You have the Blacklight Entertainment, I think it's Entertainment Earth exclusive Pennywise, and also Michael Myers. Those turned out pretty cool as Blacklight Pops. A couple of pops that were recently released, but I really do like these. The Supersonic for SDCC, Leonardo, and also the Spider-Man 2099. Folks, they have a good mix of anime that would be good to pick up. Like, I know I'm selling some Sailor Moon stuff, but it might be cool to add some more to the auction. One that I don't think I have is maybe the Tuxedo Mask. So maybe we'll pick that one up today to kind of round out some of the other Sailor Moon pops that I found for that auction. I don't know if you'll be able to hear me, but there are a couple pops that I'm missing in my collection. I wanna say it's Inky and Blinky as far as the Pac-Man goes. So I think I'm gonna pick these up today to kind of round out the Pac-Man pops that I'm missing. A couple of other fun pops that I wanna show off to you. You got Ernie from Sesame Street, and then down here you also have some Simpson stuff. So you got Comic Book Guy, Homer and Hedges, Auto Man, Ned Flanders. You know I gotta show off the Simpsons. But overall, folks, I feel like I've checked out a majority of the stuff that I wanted to highlight to you guys, so I'm gonna buy some things. You'll probably find out later what those end up being, but I gave you a good idea. Holy Moses, folks, I got a fat pile of stuff that I bought for myself and for the giveaway. I just keep finding things, guys. I don't know. I'll have to double check and see what my limits are and uh, see if I'm within what I've already spent. But there's more pops over here. We might have to check them out. All right, coming on in, folks. Looks like some of this wall. Looks like exclusives and stuff for $28 each or three for 70 which might be a decent deal. Might be a little bit expensive. But coming on in, I did not expect to see all of these pops in here. So... We're going to take a look and see if we can find anything interesting. There's a new pop that I don't think I've seen in person before. You got the Ravager Thor, which is pretty cool. Definitely pretty awesome. They just have a ton of mixed in exclusives. And I think I just kind of ran into the common wall right here. One pop that I really enjoy, guys, right here that's new is Elliot and E.T. There's a moment that's like a bigger one that's with this, but that is definitely a really cool one over there. Folks, I found a little booth that has some Funko Pops for $5 a piece. Maybe we'll look through these and see if there's any good ones. I found a couple pops that I think I'm going to pick up for $5 a piece. Scarecrow from the Batman animated series is a really good deal. My wife and I have been watching Modern Family lately, and both of these are $5 a piece. So Jay and Claire. So I might get those three pops from here. Guys, I feel like my arm is going to fall off. I have so many bags of things that I found. We're coming out like bandits today, guys. I have bought so many different things. But as we make our way through the convention... 
I feel like we're gonna keep finding some more stuff. All right, there's somebody that I know first for him and I think Pop Fiend is over there as well. So we might have to go in and check him out. All right, folks, like I was saying, we're gonna check out First Form Collectibles here. We have Pop Fiend. I think we're gonna break open a couple of sodas with them, kind of just for fun and everything like that. But if you guys wanna take a look at some of the stuff that they have, I'll see if I can highlight anything for you. Check out some of these grails that they got back here. You got Freddy Funko as Pennywise, Twisty Freddy Funko from American Horror Story, I think. That Wolverine is insane. Ochako, we have Killua. Oh my gosh, there's some really good stuff in here, guys. I don't know if there's anything that I wanna buy for like my giveaway that I'm gonna be doing on whatnot, but yeah, definitely some really solid stuff. They told me to pick out three different sodas here, so I don't know what I'm gonna pick out. I do really like Snow Miser. So maybe we'll have to pick out a Snow Miser. We'll set him aside right there. You got Chernabog, which is a decent one. Michael Scott, maybe we'll have to get Michael Scott here. We'll set Michael Scott down here as well. And then is there anything else? I'm trying to decide right here. I don't know. We'll keep looking. Maybe there's another one we want to try. So we got three different sodas. We got Geralt. We also have Snow Miser. And then we also have Michael Scott. Which one do you think we should open up first? What are you thinking? Let's what do, do uh, let's do Geralt first. Geralt first? Okay. How are we doing this? Should we actually open it up or should we just kind of spoil it? What do you let's, think? Let's shake it up and let's see what we got. All good right. luck. For your luck. Okay. Common right there. Let's open up the rest of them. We'll just do this quick. How about that? I unwrapped Snow Miser. We're going to check that one out. Shake it up. Get, oh, I, that tricked me because this is the international one, but we got a common. So common. Okay. okay, next up is gonna be Michael Scott. Let's open that up. Shake that up. And, oh, that's a common right Oh there. my God, oh no. Oh for three. Hey, that's okay though. No worries. Look at that. Three sodas I didn't have, so there you go. That's awesome. All right, folks, I found another booth. Looks like they got some pops. I'm gonna check out See what they got real quick. So my buddies over at Discover Collectibles right here, they are watchers of the channel or viewers, I guess, but I want to show off some of the cool stuff that they have here. So you got Dwayne Wade, 490 bucks, guys. That is one that you don't see very often. And one that I really like, guys, that I actually have a proto of, Spider-Man versus Spider-Man. That one's getting a little bit harder to find, you know, since it's a little bit older, but I love to highlight it when I see it. You know, I kind of forgot that we're still looking for some anime stuff, so we might have to buy a couple of these kind of a little bit mid-tier exclusives, so there's definitely a couple of those. Down here, I do notice some really cool chases, like 50s Vision is pretty rad. What else we got in here? Jackie Robinson, you guys know that I'm a big baseball guy. That one's definitely really cool. Glowing Mr. Burns, you got the cool comic book. You know, Michelangelo, Raphael, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle chases. Those are pretty rad too. But overall, just checking out all the cool stuff that they have in here, guys. Definitely lots of really rad pops. I'm digging this booth. Definitely check out Discover Collectibles, guys. All right, everybody, I found more pops. It looks like this might be a little bit tricky to kind of sneak into here. But um, we'll see what we can get done and what we can show off to you guys. Coming in here, it looks like they have a good selection. Uh, good some commons, that kind of stuff. I did notice again that Spider-Man chase that's up there from that new uh, No Way Home wave, the AAA anime exclusive. Definitely one that you don't see, or at least one that I haven't seen often, but I'll keep looking around and see what else I can find. Okay, folks, just across the way, I made my way over here to this booth. Looks like they got a good amount of stuff. I'm gonna see if I can highlight some cool things to you. Check this out, they got tons of cool chases. There might be this chase that I buy right here, the Naruto. I don't even know how you say that, but we might pick that up today to give away in the auction coming up. But uh, definitely lots of really solid chases in here, guys. I'm <laughs> so many cool ones for sure. Found a couple of cool ones that are up here, guys, that I feel like are decent price. We have the $20 Shadow, and I don't know about Sonic. That one I feel like could be one that I think is a little bit cheaper, but I feel like it's a pretty good price on Shadow. Might pull the trigger on that. Okay, folks, right here I found Sylvester and Tweety. I do love me some Looney Tunes pops with those NFTs that just came out. I think this would be a solid one to pick up, guys, for sure. But we completed the Pac-Man set today earlier, and it's cool to see these again at this booth, but you guys know that I love me some cartoon pops. You got Tom, you got Phantom Shadow, and also shaggy and when i can folks i always like to highlight the ones that i suggest in videos that you guys should pick up there's popeye i don't think i've seen popeye any booth 
other than this one. So definitely really cool to see it here at FanX. But other than that, I think that's it at this booth as far as things that I was looking at. So we're gonna buy one thing for the auction and call it good here. Guys, check out some of this stuff that is up here. They're all like cereal themed posters from like pop culture. You got your uh, Infinity Fruity Pebbles, Spideyos. <laughs> that's definitely cool. Loki charms over there. I love it. That's so cool. All right, folks, I'm making my way over to the second section of the convention. They were telling me that there were some more pops over here, so I'm definitely going to see what they have over here. This place is freaking packed. All right, I'm over here at 838 Collectibles. Looks like they have a good mix of some stuff. Once it kind of clears out, I think we'll uh, look around and see what they got. All right, folks, I found a couple of pops up here that you don't see very often. A couple of fun days and NFT pops. So you got the Bob Ross NFT, the Freddy Funko as uh, Randy Savage, Jabberwockies, some Hall H stuff from SDCC this year. Those are pretty sweet. I wanted to get a little footage over here because they had some pretty solid ones. You got the Max in costume from Stranger Things. That's one that has gone up in price with the new season that just came out. Beta Ray Bill. You also have Madcap Chase. I remember back in the day going to Hot Topic looking for those. A couple more NFT pops. You got Bebop and Bob Ross again. Some Fun Days pops that are up there as well. One from each of the teams. And some more Freddy Funkos, guys. Awesome. Sheesh, folks, not gonna lie, some of these are a little bit pricey in here. What was one that I thought was kind of interesting? I don't know why that one's 50 bucks. Maybe it actually is, and I just don't remember the price of some of this stuff, but like maybe even like Chucky as well, $30. I don't think that's correct, but maybe I could be wrong, I don't know. Coming inside of the booth right here, a couple of older pops that you don't see very often. You have Captain Spaulding, you have the original E.T., you got Hillary Clinton down in there. Figured I'd wait and make my way in here and show you some of those cool ones, but if you want to see anything else, they got some pretty good selection right there. Unfortunately, folks, I don't have a ton of time to take photos with anybody, but there were a couple of people that I thought were really cool, and maybe I'll see, I don't know if there's anybody signing or at least that I can kind of get a closer look at anything, but there are tons of people here for photo ops right now. It is absolutely insane. All right, this is more of what I'm talking about, guys, Celebrity Rail. As you can see, there's so many different things here. There's no way we're getting back in there to see anybody. All right, my dudes, I think I'm getting pretty close to checking out all the different pop booths that they had here. But I'm making my way down here. I think this was the last place that I could check to see if there's any more. But we're getting pretty close to being wrapped up. All right, folks, this might be the last pop booth. I don't know if I can find any more. So let's check this out real quick. No, I got to give a shout out to my man, Nacho Libre, when I see it. That's one that is creeping up in price but it's cool to see it here at this booth. Okay, a couple of other fun ones, guys, in here that you don't see very often. You have the Crystal Blue Heisenberg, Jesse Pinkman, Raphael from the Ninja Turtles, Lydia Dietz from Beetlejuice, and the OG Tupac. Ooh, that's awesome. All right, and then the one that I'm looking for down in here, guys, you got Los Pops 801. Let's check them out. Folks, they have all sorts of goodies at this booth. There's all sorts of really cool things. You got some Pops from the X-Files. You got Taz from Looney Tunes, which I think is a solid one to pick up right now with those NFTs that just came out. Good old Rex from Toy Story is another solid one. I've been kind of digging this show lately. It's from the creator of The Simpsons Disenchantment. I don't have any of the pops, so might be one that I pick up today. I don't know. But if you want to take a look, guys, you got the Samurai Jack 2-pack back in there. Classic Sonic, Electro. Ooh, there's some good ones in here, guys. Good mix of stuff. All right, and then if you want to take a look at this back wall right here, guys, you got some really solid ones. The Metallic Genie, Scareglow, Dumbo back there as well. Woo, definitely some heat for sure. I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick one of these mystery boxes, guys, but I'm not quite sure which one to get. How about, are you, do you know which ones they are? I was going to say, you pick them out for me. I don't, I don't know, man. All right, guys, I'm going to open up my uh, mystery box here. It's a little janky. I got a key right here, so give me a second. One eternity later. All right, what's this? I have no idea who that is, but <laughs> we got Killua from uh, Hunter x Hunter. Okay, I think this is probably going to go in the next anime auction, but cool mystery box nonetheless. All right, folks, here is the damage. We're going to take a look at everything when I get home. Like I said, I think my arm is gonna fall off. This is insane. All right, folks, I am back. It is a new day. Let me just show you everything that I picked up real quick. 
All right, so as far as me personally, here is all the stuff that I added to my personal collection and things that I also picked up for my wife. So we got the two Modern Family Pops, guys, and I love Modern Family. Me and my wife actually just finished the whole series of Modern Family. I think like in the years past, I'd watched it before, but uh, we just needed a new show to watch and we went through the whole series on Hulu. Definitely a funny show, so I'm definitely looking for the other pops in the series. I believe there's like four Let's see here, like about, yeah, four more that I'm missing right here, at least to that set. So we'll set these aside. Um, this Goofy is really cool. I was really excited to see this. I One of my favorite Disney characters is Goofy, and I thought this is such a cool exclusive with the glow in the dark, you know, skeleton and everything like that. Definitely one that I wanted to pick up if I saw it at the con, and well, here we are. This one right here, I couldn't pass up for $5, guys. I think it's like a $25 to $30 pop, the animated series Scarecrow. And a lot of these Batman animated series pops have definitely been on the rise. So yeah, I mean, it might have a little bit of box damage, but honestly, for five bucks, I'm not gonna pass that up. All right, and then we got our two Pac-Man pops that I'm missing. And you know, the more that I think about it, I'll have to look in, through my collection and everything like that just to make sure that these were the ones that I was missing. But according to my Funko app, I didn't have these ones. So that's why I ended up picking these up. and they were a pretty solid deal I think at $20 a piece so that's about what they go for but definitely some really unique pops and I believe after these two that my Pac-Man set is complete. Fingers crossed. I'll have to double check. All right, folks, and here are all of the anime pops. So a good mix of these are gonna be given away and some of them will be available for sale over on my next WhatNot auction. All the details will be down below and everything if you want to bookmark the auction. But we have all the different chases that I picked up here. We got My Hero Academia. I think this is the twice. Yeah, the twice chase, Hunter x Hunter. Some of these I don't know how to say, but I know a lot of people really like anime. So I'm hoping that this auction goes very well and you guys that enjoy anime have the chance to go after some really cool things and win some really cool giveaways. But yeah, all of these are some really solid chases. And then we also have some pretty solid ones over here, a couple of Hunter x Hunter exclusives. This will go along well with all the Sailor Moon Pops that I'm gonna have available. And also this one, which is Naruto signed by the voice actor, the English voice actor, I believe. And uh, that one will be available on the auction as well. Well, I just said these over real quick. I hope you guys enjoy that Fan X video. It Honestly, it was probably the busiest that I've ever seen it in the past couple of years. I think last year with it coming back from the pandemic, it was pretty busy, but people were still kind of, you know, getting used to, you know, normal life sort of things. And so this Fan X was insane. Big shout out to Fan X again for letting me, you know, come and check out the convention. Thank you for sending me some media passes. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below what's something that you probably would have picked up that I saw at the convention. There was all sorts of really cool things. If there's anything, one of these anime things that you like, let me know in the comment section below as well. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos like this one here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, you guys are awesome and the best. Like always, remember to be kind of one another. Always promote positivity. I will see you in the next video and on the next auction, hopefully. Catch you guys later. <gasps>